Hello, Pastor Stan Lubeck here. So glad that you've joined us. I want to talk today about three reasons churches do not equip. You know, biblically, that's really what pastors are supposed to be about. But you need to hang on in this podcast and uh, listen to the end. And I'd be curious to know if you could add to my list. But it's very clear that here in the United States, we who are involved in full-time Christian ministry are not equipping the saints to do the work of ministry. So let me give you a little bit of historical background. The Reformation returned the Word of God to the hands of people. That was good news. But it came up short because it never returned the ministry to the people. You see, the Bible says that we believe in the priesthood of the saints. That means that everybody is a minister and we need to get everybody involved. But but today, like the priests in the Catholic Church, we have Protestant pastors who are still doing all the ministry. Biblically, the pastor is to equip others for ministry, according to Ephesians 4, 11 through 13. Check it out for yourself. The pastor is to administer so that the people can minister. The pastor is used by God to create a healthy spiritual environment where the ministers can flourish with their God-given spiritual gifts and passions. The biblical job description for pastors is to develop leaders and teams who do the ministry. Unfortunately, many churches expect pastors to run programs and schedule events and keep the consumer-oriented Christians happy. That's not what Jesus designed the church to do. The church is accurately pictured today similarly to a football game with 22 people on the field of play desperately in need of rest with 20,000 in the stands badly in need of exercise. No wonder so many pastors are tired and spent. God never intended for them to do all the work. So why do we keep fostering this unbiblical approach to ministry? Well, the first reason I think is just simply faulty thinking. It seems so counterintuitive to hire a pastor not to do the work, but to put others to work. A Slovenian man said to his pastor that I'd come across, you don't come to my workplace to do my work, so why should I come to church to do your work? Another commented, we're going to pay pastors to train us to do their jobs. So see what I mean by counterintuitive? First of all, it is God's church, not the pastor's. So anyone working in the church is working for God and building the kingdom of God. Secondly, refusing to serve God is the biggest mistake anyone can make. It's the reason Christians were put on this earth. It is saying no to the king of kings. It is a fundamental misunderstanding of the lordship of Christ. That is never a good idea. Pastor Bill Yeager, who I grew up under, often commented, I never hesitate to ask people to serve in the ministry because I am not asking for me, but for God. As a pastor, when I fail to develop leaders and teams, I am robbing people of their great joy of seeing God use them to make a difference in lives. I'm also failing to help them fulfill their God-ordained callings. Martin Luther reminds us, quote, let everyone who knows himself to be a Christian be assured of this and apply it to himself we are all priests, and there is no difference between us, unquote. Well, the second reason why we don't equip is called traditionalism. Now, there's a difference between tradition and traditionalism, and I love what Charles Swindoll has said. He defines tradition as the live faith of those now dead, and traditionalism is the dead faith of those now alive, unquote. Traditionalism says we've always done it this way. When traditionalism trumps biblical principles, the church will always be limited in, in its impact on the community and the world. There's always a limit to what one pastor can do. It doesn't take much to figure that out. When a pastor chooses to equip others, the impact is multiplied and the blessing is shared. Multiplication happens as leaders are equipped to lead 10 people who lead 10 people who can lead 10 people. That's multiplication. Well, the third reason why we don't equip in the church today is I just call it selfishness. For pastors to equip and develop leaders, there has to be people who are willing to be equipped. 
If there is a serve us culture, there will never be a service oriented team building culture, even if the pastor is committed to equipping others. A church filled with consumers and moochers will never reach its full potential. There are times when the pastor is the selfish one himself. The pastor loves being needed. The pastor thinks that no one else can do ministry as effectively. The pastor loves being the center of attention. Only Jesus deserves to be the center of attention, no matter how gifted the pastor. The pastor who hogs the ministry is effectively limiting the potential of the church and eventually heading on the path of burnout. There's a old Chinese proverb I love to quote. It says, quote, many hands make light work, unquote. And the biblical principle of that is every member a minister. Oh Lord, give us Christians and pastors who value the priesthood of the believer by equipping the saints for the work of service. Okay, God's best to you. Glad you joined us. Bye for now. Uh, uh, uh.